Hey everybody, I'm Rob with Anderson Barbecue Supply and today we are going to be doing a quick overview of the Green Mountain Grill Ledge Prime. Now this is a great little pellet smoker and some might call it an entry level smoker. I definitely wouldn't. I would put it in the price point. Uh, these run for $8.99 is their standard price. So you're under $1,000 to have a essentially automated smoker, which is really good. In this video, we're going to go over some of the features of the smoker. And I'll shed some light on my opinion in there. We've been a dealer for a while now. While we are a dealer, we're a little bit biased, but I also don't sell anything in our store that we think is not a good product. The last thing I want to do is send somebody home with a product that they're not happy with. So we're proud to represent Green Mountain Grills and sell them in our store. And I use one of these all the time here at the store as a demo unit. And it always performs really well as long as you're taking care of it. So let's get into it. Number one, we have an 18 pound hopper. So these will run at about a half a pound an hour if you're doing 225 to 250 under normal conditions. Obviously, there's a whole bunch of different variations, cold, wind, temperature of the grill that'll alter that but about a half a pound an hour is pretty good number two they're wi-fi enabled gmgs operate off of an app uh, which is pretty decent so you can control this grill from anywhere you can adjust the temperature and see the meat probe temperatures too so that brings me to number three you get two meat probes in here as well and it does have a meat probe port here which is good you don't have to fish it through the lid letting any extra smoke escape. Now, regarding the hopper, they do have a pellet sensor down towards the bottom here, which is really nice. I know I've actually been in the store running this out front and gotten busy with customers, and I hear, heard this weird, annoying buzzing sound. Well, it's because I let the hopper run dry. So bad on me, but there is an alert as well. And then on the back side of this too, there's a pretty cool hopper clean out. So if you do want to change out your full hopper. There's a nice little um, little uh, slide here. Open it up and all those pellets will come right out. Now the fan on the temperature PID controller here operates in five degree increments with a variable speed fan. So this allows for more even temperature and not highs and lows. It's just gonna go steady along. So five degree increments here as well. And the temperature on this smoker varies from 150 degrees at its low point to, they claim, 550 degrees. Now, I've run these as hot as I could in the normal temperatures, and I've gotten about 475-ish, 500 degrees. So that's also taking the temperature from the computer here and using a thermometer laser as well. So 500 degrees, they say 550 I haven't quite seen it, but it's still a really good unit. We already covered the uh, meat probes here that come with it, but another cool thing is it does have a bottle opener. Some would call it a beer opener, but hey, root beer too. So a bottle opener there on the front, which is kind of cool. Now, some of the other accessories that I like about GMGs is that it comes with a front folding shelf. So you can take this shelf, fold it down, save some space in your garage, save some space on your patio, um, but it flips up really easily so that's another great feature too it also comes with the side shelf here and it has four different hooks that you can affix with a little screw um, so that's kind of a cool feature as well now gmg also comes with a shelf on the bottom the shelf does have holes so if you leave your grill out in the elements rain and snow can go down through there and it's not going to pool on the top now, one thing we haven't talked about yet is the power system. This does operate on a 12 volt power system. The plug-in is in the back. The cool thing about that is this come with a set of like alligator clips. So you could connect it to a uh, battery or a generator really easily and operate this smoker from anywhere in the woods, in a parking lot, in your backyard, obviously. But that's kind of nice with that flexibility. Uh, up top, you do have a window here on the ledge and the peak. Cool thing about this is you can see inside your cooking chamber and you don't have to lift up that lid. The downside to this is that it does get dirty and smokes over. However, with a little cleaner, a little elbow grease, you can keep it clean. A lot of our clients and customers do keep this clean. If you're like me, I'm a little lazy. I did clean our demo grill the other day and with a little elbow grease and some cleaner it came off really easily so the next thing i want to talk about here is the underside under this shelf uh, one of the 
cool things about this is with the heat diffuser inside, which we'll talk about a little bit, you can actually move it from side to side and help concentrate that airflow in the cooking chamber and allow for even heating. Or if you want to get one side of the grill a lot hotter than the other, you can change that too. Now underneath you have your drip bucket, which is pretty self-explanatory. And then you also have here a clean out. And this is actually a vacuum port for the drip or for the fire pot on the inside. And I'll show you that in a little bit here too. And finally here on the bottom, we do have some nice mud wheels on the right side. And on the left side, we have two swivelable locking casters that help keep that grill in place. Now let's move to the interior of the grill. If we open the lid here, uh, first, of all, first of all, you're going to notice that there is an interior light in here. Again, like the window that might get smoked over, but with a little cleaner, a little elbow grease, you can keep that clean and you're actually going to get some decent light on whatever you're cooking and at night it helps a lot. Uh, interior wise you have a height of about 13 and a half inches so you could cook a whole turkey in here you have plenty of height to deal with. Another cool thing I like about GMG here is it comes with two grates. These it's just easier for cooking and moving things around. Uh, when you have one grate it's hard to pull everything out without damaging the side or damaging something else. So two grates is a nice feature. Now, if you notice the interior here, we have our drip tray. This is a pretty standard drip tray. There's nothing super fancy about it. I find that through the other brands in the industry, most drip trays are created equal. Some are different, obviously, but they're all about the same gauge steel. They all have a slope. They're all designed well and do what they need to do. Now, the heat diffuser in here is pretty cool. I like GMGs because it's a little more robust than some other competitors. And I think that's important because when you're running a fire in there, that fire is really hot. Even if you're running 250 in the cooking chamber, that fire is gonna be hotter than that. So having a good diffuser is important to me. And GMG has gets the job done. So with this diffuser, you just undo the rod here, take it out, and you'll notice that we have perforated holes to promote even heating. And then on the underside, you have an actual another piece of metal that really helps tamp and diffuse that fire so you don't get a hot spot, you know, right here, right in your grill or directly to the left. And again, remember with the GMG that you can move this drip tray from left to right within the chamber, giving you, if you want more heat on the left because you're going to try to sear something off, you pull that drip tray to the right and you'll get more heat on the left-hand side. And then... Two of the most important things in here, obviously, are the fire pot and the heat sensor. Let's talk about this heat sensor located right here. I'll try to get a good camera view of that, but that's a nice brass, shiny feature in there. Keep that clean. I can't stress that enough. I'm guilty of it. Uh, our demo unit here at the store, I tried to start up the other day and it didn't start. So what did I do? I cleaned the thermal sensor, I cleaned the fire pot, and lo and behold, it started right up, no problem. So keep that thermal sensor clean. clean. And then the other thing here is your fire pot down below. We'll see if we can't get some good video footage of that. But it's built really well. It has natural or it has fins in it to allow that airflow to come in and around. And then on the bottom side there, if you can see it, it actually has a, a, a tray below the tray to make sure that ash falls all the way down. And that's what that vacuum port is used for on the other side. So that's really important as well. Now, overall size on your GMG, this ledge model, 52 inches outside to outside, 52 inches floor to the top of the smokestack. And then interior wise, you're actually from, your grill grates from left to right are 26 and a half inches. And then the grill grates themselves are 16 and a half inches deep. So 26 and a half wide by 16 and a half deep, which is a pretty good size for a grill. Obviously they also have the accessory racks that you can place in here. Uh, they have a rack for the peak, they have a rack for the ledge, they have a rack for the trek as well. I find that the trek racks, actually you could fit quite a few of them in here in the ledge. So that's kind of a cool feature too. Also, don't forget about their really cool feature. As an accessory, they have a pizza oven that you can take. Take all the internal components out just like we are right now. It drops right into that fire pot, sits on the front and the back. You set this at about 275 and your pizza oven 
is at about, I think, 650, 700 degrees. So you can cook up that perfect, perfect pizza. Uh, I like using Urban Slicer dough. It's one of uh, the best doughs out there, and it's super simple to use. Uh, another thing they have is a rotisserie kit. And they already have the brackets that come in here for that. You have a bracket on the interior of the left. And then you have a hole here with the bracket on the exterior right side. This is where the uh, mechanism for turning that rotisserie fits. So that's really cool. They also make, obviously they make rain covers for these, which I would urge you to get. Um, they're not meant to be left out in the elements, and you're going to get a lot shorter of a shelf life with your smoker if you don't use those covers. So this is meant to be a quick overview of the Green Mountain Grill Ledge. Again, I am a dealer, so I'm slightly biased, but I do use one of these as a demo grill, and it cooks great, especially with that rotisserie attachment uh, and the pizza oven attachment. It's a great addition to anybody's backyard barbecue. If you have any questions, you can email me at robert at andersonbbqsupply.com. Give me a call. Check out our website, andersonbbqsupply.com as well. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.